and this is not my usual character because I'm going to do something that I promise and I'm going to show what happens if you didn't kill Eileen by accident and how to actually continue her quest chain. Also there has been a major patch to Bloodborne, the major patch being there are now tooltips in the loading screens like there was on Dark Souls 2 and 1 I think. Mm. So that definitely helps to distract from the long load times. Um, I don't think the I think the load times have been reduced a bit, um, but at least now there's something to distract you and not just that boring old Bloodborne logo that we've seen plenty of by now. So there's not as much need to cut out the loading screens because there's actually something to read the first few times, or they will probably still cut them out. Um, but basically, this this character is a little bit further ahead than the actual current Let's Play character. Um, but if you go to Cathedral Ward at any point, I'd say after defeating Rom, make your way around up the steps. Let's let this guy point at us and then kill him. We do a lot of damage now as well, compared to when we were last here. <laughs> uh, I have a lot of souls, I am and over and over. So the That I don't have to worry about uh, dying over and over and over on my main account, even though that's exactly what happened when I was using. Right, can I? I'm gonna kill this guy because he was giving me grief earlier. Oh, that was a lucky dodge. Um, yeah, the whole point of this character is that it dies a lot. And I learn the area by going through it like three or four times. And that way I don't have to die ten times to ROM like I did in the last episode. Anyway, so you go up these steps and the enemies with the twigs will no longer be here. But you will in fact find Eileen. Oh. Is that you again? I'm afraid I've made a bit of a blunder. I'm just going to have a short rest. I've taken blood, enough to save an old woman. No more dreams for me. This is my last chance. What a fool I am. I'll have to tread carefully. But that thing still lies in wait. Turn back. You get the wait um, gesture for obviously not killing her earlier, and what she's referring to is there's actually a hunter in here, and this hunter is extremely dangerous. But screw it, we're gonna give it a go. Fifty-one thousand souls, meh. All right, this hunter is extremely fast and extremely aggressive, and I've never fought him before, so let's give it a go, eh? Yeah, his, his gun does a lot of damage as well. Oh! Just keep on the aggressive with the uh... Oh! Dodging. That was a bad dodge. I'm trying to go for the repost uh, for the parry, obviously. Uh, the item that he's using to let him dart around like that, you can actually have yourself. That didn't hit me. How did that hit me? You can actually have yourself, um, but you require a lot of arcane to use it. I'm definitely fishing for that parry. Oh, he's going to kill me. Let's go try this again.
Okay, so like I warned, he is pretty tough. Um, he's very fast, very aggressive, and can dodge seemingly everything. Oh, I get. Uh, whoa, okay, that was quick. Okay, like I said, this guy hits pretty hard um, and is very, very dodgy. Very, very quick on the dodges and the uh, return fire as well. Ugh. He also locks on to you, obviously. He has the chicage. There is a like a, a glitchy way of beating him. I'm not gonna. Oh, got the repost. Don't believe it. Actually, oh yeah, he's got so much HP. Oh, that was a. He does so much damage with his uh. His everything apparently. Oh my god, this guy's hard. I think we'll try it. Yeah, he killed me again. <laughs> I think we'll try it one more time and then we'll just come back later on with our other character and do this at time. I do I do really want to kill this guy though. Okay, he has already seen me. I don't know what it is he's doing. I'll see if I can get away with doing the cheat way of killing him. He can also heal as well, uh, which I should probably mention sucks. Come on. Oh, I've actually got one.
Okay, so he's using the Shikarge, which has a... Yeah, it does damage to himself. If you can get him to come to these stairs when he has the Shikarge out, he will just die. Because uh, he will just take damage, uh, too much damage, and then die. Because he can't come down the stairs. That's the glitch, as far as I'm aware. That's what I've heard. Although he actually seems to be quite capable of coming down the stairs now. Oh, there's another parry. I will take it. Oh, there's another one. And a Molotov to the face. Oh, come on, can I actually kill him? That's actually going to be so sick if I actually manage to kill this guy. That won't do it. Don't get cocky now. Oh, I got him! Aha, I fucking killed him. You're a dick. Aha. Cool. What does he drop? Blood Rapture, which is a rune. Uh, Blood Rapture. That's not runes. Blood Rapture, there it is. Oh, okay, you know, Visceral Attacks. Visceral Attacks now re restore a lot more HP. So we've already had a Blood Rapture, it's just an upgraded one. Once you kill him and go and check on Eileen. Don't you ever listen to your elders? No matter. You did save my life. I don't seem to be happy with this life anymore. My glory days were long ago now. I know. Here. For you. So you get the Crow Hunter badge, which you actually got for accidentally killing Eileen. And the Hunter, uh, like, legacy, I think it's like a legacy rune, I forget what it's called. And she tells you she'll be fine. And then just breathes heavily. Um, so yeah, she gives us the Crow Hunter badge, which we'll go over in a minute. And the Hunter rune. Stamina recovery speed up. This is a very, very good rune. Like, it's blue, as you can see, which is different. Um, so let's go back to the Hunter's Dream. Go over what the Crow Feather badge actually gets us. And then we will continue on next time with our actual Let's Play account. Because I just wanted to show that quest. I promised that I would, so I did. Return to Hunter's Dream. Ho! Oh! Actually, I'm going to leave up the loading screen to show you the interesting tooltips. Blood of Avidelia. We haven't met this character yet. Spoilers? Kind of spoilers. I suppose there's going to be quite a few spoilers, actually, if it goes around like that. Right, so if you go to the bar, Crow Hunter's badge allows you to purchase. The Blade of Mercy for 40,000 souls. And I th oh no, it doesn't unlock a weapon. And it also it unlocks the armor set, which is the beak mask, the crow feather garb, crow feather manchettes, and the crow feather trousers. These are the first hunter of hunters came from a foreign land and gave the dead a virtuous nated funeral ritual rather than impose a blasphemous yarn and bur burial service on them with the hope that former compatriots might be returned to the skies and find rest in a hunter's dream. Hunters of Hunters dress as crows to suggest a sky burial. So it's quite a cool... Um, the wood, the actual beak mask says that the beak contains incest to mask the sense of blood and beast. Which is interesting, but you can get like the whole set. And I think the interesting thing about the set is that it gives high frenzy resist, I think. It is expensive. I don't think we'll buy it on this account. Actually, I think we will. No, we won't buy it on this. This account is messing around, so I'll buy it on the main account if I can afford it. Um, but other than that, we will go over this again when we do it on our main character. But I wanted to show that's how the quest line is completed. And that is it for Eileen's quest line. Next time you go back there, she won't be there and you won't see her again. Kind of a shame that that's really all you get out of her, but nonetheless, I'm going to well, pump what? the souls that I did keep into levelling up on this character. See, the stats are very, very similar. Like, very, very similar to how they are. Confirm. And we'll go put that rune in. I think the only difference between this character is that I was a total noob for the first bit. 
And apparently, right, what's this rune hunter? Yeah, I'm totally gonna put the hunter rune on. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Right, anyway, so hopefully you'll enjoy this short episode, but it will keep you your fix. The Binding of Isaac episodes are there for like filler while I practice and catch up on Bloodborne. So hopefully next time we will um, either do these side quests on the Let's Play character or head to the Castle Canehurst, which is where I want to go. I am practicing that area on this account now, but not quite yet. Um, so yeah, hopefully you're still enjoying the Isaac fillers. Uh, if not, just put a dislike on them. But please like if you liked, leave a comment, or even subscribe. Videos come up at 2 o'clock week daily. I have been WoW 10 minutes at a time, and I will see you guys next time. Ciao!